Good morning everyone. I wasn't planning on vlogging today, however, we woke up this morning and it snowed! It's actually melting a little bit now, it was about an inch or two thick this morning. But I thought, what a beautiful day, it snowed. I love snow, I hate the slush it leaves behind afterwards, but it's Mia's first snow day. I just thought it'd be a lovely day, although it's freezing, to wrap up very, very, very warm and go grab a coffee and go for a quick walk with Mia, just take her in the snow, see what her reaction is, it'll be quite cute. But I'm gonna make sure she is snug as a bug because it it doesn't feel that cold to be honest from what from what I've checked as well and sun's out a little bit but still don't want her like risk getting her ill or anything but it'll be nice just to see what her reaction is with the snow for the first time so I'm hoping we actually make it out before it melts away so we're on time we're ready everything's good I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna maybe try and come back and edit the other vlog and get that up for you guys which hopefully you'll have seen by now and yeah gonna go grab a coffee and show sure means what snow is so cute my heart oh and we also mark we bought her the walker that i was telling you about i think in the previous vlog we put her in it this morning and she liked it but she obviously she didn't get the hang of it straight away so i think she's just like on a tiptoe so she needs to be a little bit taller for it but to have her just in there in the kitchen is going to be an absolute perfect dream because i'll just keep her entertained whilst we cook or whatever it is yeah when she gets hang of it a little bit more i'll show you that but i'm gonna go Choose a coat and head out the door. Hi guys, I'm currently in the Starbucks drive through queue and it is taking us far. We've been here for about 30 minutes. Hello, welcome to Starbucks. Just, you know, it's only. Is that okay? That's fine, thank you. Um, um, can we get a for you? Can I get two uh, medium lattes? You know the ones that taste like Kinder Bueno? The white mocha that you want in the morning? Yeah, please. Still hot version, yeah? Hot version, yeah, please. No, I'll have one. And it's two of those, I'm going to have Yeah. The two white mosses, the diesel nuts, there they are, Mama. Sweet for you, sir, lovely. No, that's it, thank you. Can I have it medium, is that alright? Of course. Thank you. We are just on our way, we're going to go to take Mia out in the snow, see how she deals with that. Marcus is at home, it snows in her way. I think he didn't get off the cod till like 3 o'clock in the morning. So is expected and yeah well, after we've done that i think we're gonna run to home bargains oh my god i really need to take this chain off because when that comes out i look like a right little dull boy i run to i need to run to home bargains if we got some batteries preferably some gingerbread or something candles if they have any so we have just come out uh, we're gonna go for a little bit of a walk i went home and i dropped Max's um coffee off and i got changed because i thought i'd need a car i can't just, won't get away with like a thick cardigan get me around the car and see how she is with the snow hi bug bugs she's double wrapped everything The girls have just decided they want a snowball fight. <laughs> Not too dirty, remember? I'm having fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> Where are you caught? Why are you not wearing your coat? <laughs> Look, I like this beautiful blanket of snow that no one's been on. And this sound. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> had the nicest time in the snow she loved it obviously i didn't let her touch it because her hands would have absolutely froze but oh, i was so much fun she loved it when we were throwing snowballs at each other she laughed sometimes and sometimes she was over it but it was so cute so cute i'm so glad i brought her here oh we just woke up and now not woke up we just got back and she refuses to get off oh my little starfish baby girl i miss those cuddles i'm gonna go and get some lunch on because we're quite hungry and we've not had lunch yet. I've had breakfast in the morning and it's nearly two o'clock. I think it's past two o'clock, so definitely lunch time. <coughs> oh. 
I've got a rather large portion, however, this says it serves two and I swear I could eat the whole packet myself because it's so tasty. And, and Mia's having some. And Mia's having some. Are you trying yeah. some memes? Ooh. She seems to be liking it more because I'm cod. I tried to get him off this. Did, I was like, this? Did she like it? Yeah. Good girl. I said we want to watch something, get off cod. So I can't hopefully. see anyone on roofs here, but I'm just going to drop down here for now. You think I don't know cod by now? You started a new game. Yeah, excuse me, when you're coming down from the helicopter, that's a new game. Wow, this man really think I was born yesterday. Uh. Oh, we're going to have a fight. Yeah, yeah, I checked online and they can have broccoli <laughs> at six months old. So, seems to be she likes, she likes it, my good girl. Marshall. Marcus has been busy and just upgraded our stairs with these little spotlights. They're only from Amazon. But yeah, I think he did this so when he comes down for midnight, hello Alaska, for his shortbread snack, then he's got a light and you don't need to disturb me or he's sneaking back up from cod. That is what I believe the intentions were behind them. So Marcus is refusing to listen and he's gonna spray it. So we decided we're gonna do the kitchen again. And he's spray paint in the sink, yeah. gold. But it's not just gold, everyone. It's like a nice chrome gold, it's glittery gold. Yeah, I thought it's gonna look so tacky. We didn't buy glittery gold, it just says it just, pure gold. Yeah, and it turned out to have glitter in it. So he, <laughs> right, so we decided we're gonna maybe spray paint this black and like the sink and see how we get on. And he's like, oh, well, because we're doing it black anyway, we might as well spray paint it. Why? It's, it's going to look ridiculous, but... You look ridiculous. I don't cuss you out every morning. Yeah, but I don't look this ridiculous, Marcus. So we're giving this a fresh lick of paint because after we painted it the first time, the cupboards, basically, we left them as a way, which you're not supposed to do because obviously it needs a coating. And we just never did it because <laughs> it was a long process because these are originally cream. And, yeah, we didn't get our floor tiles either when we wanted to. So... Because we didn't get the floor tiles when we did when we wanted to, we're just repainting this now and then we've got a protective coat. Where's the spray can, Marcus? So this is what Marcus has picked up from B and Q today, which apparently did the guy tell you that, Marcus? This is what you use. It said it's sealant, yeah. It's either that or you can use a paint version of it. Ah, okay. So we got a spray can version just to put over the drawers and this should hopefully help seal it so that we won't get any fingerprints, marks, cooking splashes on you. If we do we can just wipe them off. So we'll report back and let you know how we get on with it. It's happening guys. Either we're going to regret this. Alexa, pause. Either we're highly going to regret this or it'll be the best kitchen transformation. I know, either we're going to need a new workshop altogether. I know, yeah. Either we're going to need a new kitchen and we're going to make more work for ourselves. Imagine doing all this and we're like, you know what, we might as well get a new kitchen now. We cannot afford it. So I hope, I pray this turns out good. You won't see the end result in this vlog, but I will very much keep you posted. <laughs> I'm scared, Marcus. I feel like wiping it off. Hello, everyone. My gosh, is it a hectic day. You probably just saw a glimpse of my kitchen there. And whoo, Marcus and I have been trying to do the kitchen, I'm going to say, for the last five days and we've not got very far with it because it's a learning curve obviously we've never epoxied before we've oh if you're new to the channel then we're basically upcycling the kitchen instead of putting a new one and because we're using epoxy and everything it's just one massive learning curve so we've had to like paint a couple of times i do undercoat a couple of times and paint over it then we realized that we painted too prematurely on top of the undercoat and it's just been one whole big it's a prime we didn't recycle yeah. like primer and undercoat that if you put anything like even water-based paint on without it drying fully mm. even if it's like 80% dry and you think oh I'll bang another one on it starts to no. peel off. So. Yeah you can't eat bubbles oh, so gosh. we've like wasted a full tin on one um, worktop one but yeah it's a learning curve so we were going to originally go out and take pictures I felt like rubbish <sighs> and I look like rubbish <sighs> so tomorrow because I don't really feel like it and then also it's going to snow in about an hour and a half. Oh! Oh no, 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 no
David. Oh, no. So oh, no. I'm gonna go pick up my oh, no, sister no, no, um, no, no, no. who's in our bubble and I said to her that we're gonna make some birria tacos. She's gonna be babysitting me and me whilst me and Marcus crack on and then also I've got some work to do. So we just need me to be watched for a little bit. Obviously whilst we're in the house but it's hard to get stuff done and yeah I promise her that we make some birria tacos or attempt to because it looks like it has a lot of complicated ingredients in there and she's obsessed with them ever since. She's seen them on TikTok so that was my bribing point to her. Um, but I'm gonna go and we need to pick up Mia's milk and get a few bits and bobs. So let's see how we get on. So I just thought I'd quickly show you the worktop before I head out. So it looks really nice, white and clean. Now we've got some marble spray that we're gonna do and then we're gonna go ahead and epoxy on top of it. And this back splashback we've got, which was like the same colour as the worktop, I think Mark is an attempt to tile it, aren't you? Mm -hmm. He said, don't mind messing it up because this is on house, that's a fair point. So he's an attempt to tile that and we're going to see how we get on. We're going to give the drawers another paint of coat, another paint of coat, Marcus, another coat of paint. And also we start to do the inside because we didn't like that beached wood. Um, and it's going to look really, really nice. And I just need to neaten up the edges and everything and then give this a top coat of like a matte... Uh, protector. Oh, just quickly yeah, show you, yeah, that's yeah, the original yeah, yeah. worktop counter. That's also what's on the splashback. Oh, colours of them. Yeah. But then also show what we're going to do for the cats. Oh yeah, so that's the, what the drawers like on the inside. So, for the cats, what we've decided we're going to do is Marcus is going to build steps up here and excuse all the mess up here, but we've got a lot we, of we top arrived. counter kitchen I space. the top of the kitchen goes unused other than for rubbish that doesn't need to be there no. anymore. Anyway. So I'm going to put down some planks of wood and some uh, throws for the cats and it's just going to be like a little play space for them to climb yeah. through. Yeah, so we're going to put all woods on there so it's easily wipeable and everything because obviously we're going to have to clear, clean that like once a week um, and put some, on some blankets up there and put little steps there so the cats can jump on here. They usually jump onto the fridge and then they can jump on from either place and climb up there. So we think they'll really enjoy that and it'll be quite cute for them. And yeah, this is progress. I have started vlogging this for a separate vlog, but I think I might actually do it as a reel on uh, Instagram. But if I do, I'll list everything how we did it. I'm still deciding, but I'm gonna head out now because I can hear Marcus saying, I'm gonna get killed. So this just happened and we've just got home. After driving in this, it was not fun. Hi everyone. So I've cut the beef. I don't know if I've shown you this, but... Oh, me is asleep. I've cut the steak up in like little bits. And I've got the onions, what's your yellow onions? Well, it'll be fine. Onions, green peppers, and red peppers there, which I'm gonna saute and soften and fry. And then for the baguette, I picked up tiger bread because they didn't have salt and pepper bread. Excuse my hob, like I've not been able to clean it because we can't wet this. I have to put foil around and be very careful when cooking. I'm going to make like a garlic bread with it. So that should be very, very nice. Um, I'm gonna check with Marcus and I can start cooking. So I've never made this before, uh, I've checked a different couple of recipes and they all vary um, but I think the general consistency is like onion, peppers and then season the steak with salt and pepper only, bit of oil, take these out, pop that in, mix that and then pop the cheese on, you're supposed to get pavlon cheese which I didn't know because my sister told me that long cheese so I just have to deal with whatever it is I ended up with not because I don't remember. <laughs> I can't talk to where we're eating because Mia's asleep but I put the cheese there so we put garlic butter uh, I made garlic butter and put it on oh my god let's <laughs> put all the cheese over put it on the bread and then pop that in the oven for it to toast then put the steak on top sprinkle some cheese we went with mozzarella because we don't have anything else then put the onions and everything there and yeah I'm gonna give it a go let you know what I think cool, 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 cool. Chilling, bro. What about you? What if it's stuck? I mean, I what on earth did you do for pigeons stuck in your chimney? You have to have a, when you go out, just get some of the girls and see if there's one like sat at the top. That is so bizarre. We can hear a pigeon. It's not like it's How right bizarre. there. Like in the chimney. It's weird. How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. We don't know if we've got a... Can pigeons get stuck in your chimney, guys? And also, if it what if it's stuck and it dies? It's going stink. Or if it falls down. Can they do that? Can they come through your chimney? No! 
They can't come through this. They can't. It's got a metal netting at the top of it because it's not an open lock iron. It's not got uh, a big latch in if you have, if you have a look under it's just like a little gap. Ah. Is it Sunday? On, by the way? No. It's freezing. The house is it freezing. On. Right, it went on when I checked. Oh, I have a bottle of milk. We forgot. Just about to nip out. Need to get my niece a bit. Oh, because I'll hear it. Need to get my niece a birthday present and it's Sunday, so I need to go for the shop's clothes. What time is it? For like hot two. It's two. Right, I'm going. Hello. Can't even tell you what day what day is it? I think it's Wednesday today. Don't know when I last picked up the camera. But ooh, has it been busy? Right, my winner's just been picked for the 21 buttons giveaway. Hey! So, it has been a very busy couple of days. We've been all over the shop. We have been constantly dealing with our kitchen. As you guys know, we were doing like a kitchen reno. I've been filming it. Where I'm going to put the footage, I'm not sure. Am I going to do it as a YouTube video? Am I going to do it on Instagram as a Reels? Am I going to do it as an IGTV? No idea. I think I might do a Reels, but then I filmed a lot of the stuff like vertical. I think it needs to be horizontal for YouTube. But anyway, I think I'm going to go with the main transformation on the reels on Instagram and then a detailed explanation, well, like more details in a vlog. And I think that's the best way for me to do it really. But yeah, we've been busy, we've been epoxy this, epoxy that and oh, it's just, it's been all over the shop. But Mark and I are going to get ready, well, we are ready, but we're going to go ahead and film some TikToks now because yeah, we're in another lockdown, yay! <laughs> and we need her nappies, we need the size up because if you remember in the last vlogs that I picked up her nappies and ended up picking the exact same size that she's just grown out of so yay for me luckily she's just got away with wearing them so we didn't go to waste but yeah we do need to get her the size up and then Marcus is going to look for a dish to make with chicken tonight he wants to try a new recipe as well so we're going to go and pick up bits of that well we need to find the recipe I don't even first. know what to get people have sent me so many I must have 50 different recipes in my DMs right now oh really? Yeah. it does we appreciate it when everyone chips in do we and actually just going to quickly get a picture and after we've done that we're going to nip to Aldi and then Shut we should be home but it'll be done hi what do you mean you shut up. People like hearing my voice. Like hearing my voice. People That's come you. on this channel just to hear hear me talk, I'm sure. Right guys, we are back from Aldi. So I'm just showing everyone on Instagram what it is that I picked up. But I'll quickly show you. I bloody love that shop, aren't they? I've got quite a bit. And um you always do, you always get so much more value for your money there. Um I've just been eating some macaroons that I picked up on there. If you've not If you've not had these macaroons from there, you need to try them. They're so nice. And obviously, excuse the state of our kitchen. It's still a mess because we're still again, getting our kitchen done. In fact, I've got someone coming on Monday to actually show me samples of the flooring. Um, I think, I think I'm going to go with herringbone. I really think I am. He's going to come and show me the flooring samples. And yeah, I think that's what I'd like. I'm not going to go with tiles or anything. Everyone I spoke to said they don't recommend tiles for kitchens. I guess it's you know preference if that's what you still end up going for but i do like the look of the wooden floor so i'm going to go with that for the solid wood picked up some coriander basil because we use this constantly and also marcus makes something not sure what and i assume that he probably need those two ingredients stick it off pudding i've shown this a million times if you've not tried it from aldi try it it's absolutely fabulous some veggie fingers because meme schemes eats them i've got my needs to stay with me um so they've got a couple of bits and bobs uh, for themselves. They've got a couple of other bits, but yeah. 
these macarons that I'm eating now. Uh, picked up some wipes. I usually pick up a box of these, but they ran out of the boxes, so I picked up some individual packs. Some avocados, garlic granules. Never worked with them before. Thought that would be quite interesting. Some red onion. I really don't like cooking with brown onion, onion anymore. For me, I don't know why I prefer that. Some more pizza base, mozzarella sticks, eggs. Constantly when you need using eggs. Ciabatta rolls, some mozzarella, pepper. We use that a lot. These for Marcus because he eats them. Uh, some baking powder, we'd run out. Custard, this is for the sticky tough pudding. Such a nice combo. Some dip to have with some crisps later. Uh, I think these are like a Aldi bounty version. <laughs> so everyone needs one to try them, so we've got them. Some vegetable gyoza. Um, some spicy bean burgers. I am obsessed with these in like ciabatta with mozzarella melt on top. You guys know, you've seen me have them for love. Got some short crust pastry. I'm gonna actually see. I was supposed to pick up one puff pastry and one short crust, but I obviously wasn't paying attention and picked up two of these. So I'm gonna Google a couple of recipes and see what I can end up making with them. Um, got some oven chips. These are amazing with burgers, very nice. And some milk as usual. Some cranberry juice, some caramel wafer bars. Every so often I want something sweet, but I want something like small, so I mean, that would be a good shout. Some peppers, once again, done what Marcus is cooking. A bit of some tomatoes as well, and just thought a couple of basic ingredients. And then I did it. The reason that I was so skeptical about picking these up is because it says five plus for junior. And that kid looks massive, like compared to memes. So I don't know, like, whether this is <laughs> what she should be wearing, but I assume so, so we'll, we'll see. But yeah, that is all. Hello, my little helper. Mia? Memes? Are you helping mum out? Are you helping mum out? Is that what you're doing, gorgeousness? We have got Mr. Marcus on the food tonight. We've got a little, what we have in Marcus? A fancy chicken and chips. We're having jerk chicken. No, no, is it just jerk chicken? What is it? Jerk yeah. Jerk chicken with some... We're making masala fries. I'm making masala fries with uh, Caribbean curry powder. Mm. To the, the yeah. Oh wait, we should, hold on. Jerk, jerk flavoured chicken. That's not jerk chicken, is it? That's what we're having. Marcus is very good at looking for stuff. Um, new recipes. We are gonna eat and then my plan is to, I've got a little bit of work to do so I need to squeeze that in somewhere. Part of me wants to do it now but oh yeah ignore the splash by the way we were just experimenting with a marble spray on there <laughs> but yeah part of me wants to do my work now but then I need to help Marcus with a few bits in the kitchen so I'm a little bit stuck as to how to do everything because I do also want to sit down with my puzzle tonight. It's been a while since I even opened that back up and I've not got anywhere with it and I'm determined to finish it because it, it, it was just so nice when I sat there last time just doing the puzzle and really put my mind at ease. So I would like to squeeze that in tonight but I also have a couple of things that need to be picked up upstairs. I literally just washed clothes and need to put them away. <clears throat> it's really gone. <coughs> <laughs> in my throat that has Marcus mm. the spices let's see how this thing plays out hey my love so I've just got Mia down for bed and I'm going to quickly pick up bits in the dressing room and basically I don't know where my evening's gone I sat down and I did like a QA and a on Instagram and <laughs> there was a lot of questions I've had a lot of like new people obviously join my page and I think I told you about our TikTok that's gone crazy and anyways ended up on like memes are and it's just yeah gone crazy yeah so I just thought I'd do a quick Q&A on Instagram because I had a couple of new people join me on there and anyways I was sat doing that and I was actually like replying talking to the uh, replies to the question <laughs> what am I on but I was talking as for my replies to the questions and it's just gone like that the time has gone like that and then i just put me to bed but i thought i'd quickly jump on here i don't know how much i've vlogged and i'm so sorry and it's been so sporadic over the last few days yeah i just wanted to show you actually i got my my cardigan came through from and on the stories i wasn't expecting it for a while um but it's really nice it's a really nice cardigan it's very pricey 
for a cardigan it's one of those pieces i'll never get sick of it and it's very good quality as well and i think you sort of get what you pay for and yeah i got so if anyone's wondering about this cardigan it's the one that i ordered from i know the stories and i absolutely love it hello vlog so another random day but this is how this vlog's gone so i hope that's all right we have or not we marcus has for the first time in his life just started tiling so he started tiling the kitchen he's never done this before and so far so good alhamdulillah he's done it looks like he's done a very good job i'm gonna say we need to get to that part up there but we get in there and i quite like the way it looks um with the marble worktop i have so many people on instagram asking me if i've been filming this uh, i have been filming the process like i said don't know whether it's gonna be a youtube video or an instagram video but I have been filming it so I will break down everything we're doing because we are doing it all ourselves. Uh, we're upcycling and we've never done anything like this so if we can do it, you know, we're just like a novice at it then I'm pretty sure anyone can do it. So a lot's been done. We're getting a lot of it done. Obviously the kitchen still continues to be messy need to clean all up there as well. Over here is like where we have our boiler and stuff but towards the back of it we have like um, the cats, so their bits are in there. So my idea is to paint this door all black and I've bought like a cat, a neon cat sign. So I'm going to put that on there because I just thought it looked quite cute. So yeah, we're going to do that too. That's it guys, it's all happening. I don't know if I told anyone this, but this worktop we have to redo. I think I did tell you just because it's like, it's got bubbles and everything in it and whatnot. But when it was drying and we came down, I can't show you now because the dish is on there. We saw little paw prints. <laughs> One of the cats had jumped up and obviously he was walking on here and said, paw prints got any whilst it was still setting. So we need to change that. But overall, I'm liking the way it looks so far. Marcus is just upstairs having a shower. He's going to get ready. It's Friday prayers today, so he's getting ready for that. So, excuse all the mess. Moment of truth. I think this is like a yellow rather than a warm white. I don't know, oh, it might not work because his batteries aren't... Oh no! Oh yeah. Hey! So these batteries are very weak so it's not coming around neon. But yeah, it's like a warm white. So, I'm going to paint this black and have that there because all the cat things are in there. And there's a little cat flap down there. So that's how the cats enter. Yeah, it'll be quite cute. I know the kitchen is nowhere near done but I just wanted to see what the sweet jars obviously they need a refill and that needs probably another coat of paint but I just kind of I was too excited to wait to see what it looked like so even that's wet right now and obviously all the edges need doing but I just really want to see what it looked like and I don't think it shows up just how nice it looks on camera like as it does in person because it doesn't look as dark on camera but it's really dark in person and oh I just love it so much <laughs> Guys, I just fell asleep with Mia on my chest and ended up napping for two hours. It's 7 p.m. now. There's no way she's gonna sleep early tonight. <laughs> I don't know why Marcus would wake me up, but the right little minx, look, he's proper gone for it. He's done a right good job. So he started on this part, which I love against for like the hobbies. So I'm already so happy with it. Um, bits that he's left are because the towel cutter we've got is just like a scraper thing. It was like a basic starter kit, but it's very hard to work with. And we're going to actually go pick up a actual tile cutter. I know I felt it with paint on my hands. But we're going to actually go and pick up an actual tile cutter. So it makes it a lot easier to get around these bits. Right, guys, I've not done anything that I said I would. But it's getting quite late. We've not had dinner yet. So we're going to make spicy prawn pasta. Fly with me, let's float down here, cause we 
Alright my loves, we have just eaten our prawn pasta. I think I'm gonna leave the vlog there. I've already ended this vlog about three times this week, but I think I'm gonna leave it there. I'm so sorry, it's literally a vlog of here, there and everywhere. But I will catch up with you and I'll start to vlog properly very soon I'm sure. But I'm gonna say goodnight because it's half ten. We're watching a movie. I'm gonna watch this, get to bed. I hope everyone has a really nice weekend or has had a really nice weekend depending on when you see this. And I'll catch up with you on the next one. Bye!